in the first reading, we had Moses talking to God while the rest of the Israelites, they were worshiping idols. Look at the contrasts. The worship of the true God on the one hand, the worshiping idols on the other. And Jesus mentioned this in today's gospel when he said, you should believe Moses. The one who will accuse you is Moses. Because Moses wrote about me. Let us ask that grace from the Lord then as we complete the rest of the Lenten season. That grace of faith, that grace of true worship. Because if we are not careful before we know it, we're already worshiping idols. And idolatry takes on a different and many forms. You could be a person going to Mass every Sunday and going to confession every Holy Week, and yet you are worshiping idols. You could be a person praying the Rosary at night, reading Novena prayers, and yet you are worshiping idols. How can it be? Simple. The worship of idol is the worship of false god. Like the molten calf that this Israelites carved during Moses' time. The worship of things that is not of God. The worship of things or situations or places created not the real God. Let us be careful because we could be persons carving our own molten calf. We could be persons having our own worship to a false God. And the worst kind of it is we could be persons making little gods of ourselves. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, very soon we enter the Holy Week. We're so close. Let us ask the grace from the Lord then. Lord, please, grant me the grace of faith. During the Easter Sunday and the Easter Vigil, we renew our faith. We make a pledge, I believe. So beautiful ceremony when we light candles and we say, yes, I believe. It has asked that grace because this faith is pure gift. It's a grace from the Lord. It does not be contented to say, I have faith because I go to Mass. I have faith because I pray the Rosary. I have faith because I have all these baskets of Novena prayers read. That is on our end. That is how far we could go. But look at the other side. This is a covenant. And God has something else to offer. So ask the Lord, Lord, please, complete where I fall short.